Here we go again, folks, with another car in my collection. This is a 2002 Fiat Cinquecento. Well, I think that's the way you pronounce it. That's the way I've always pronounced it. I remember a long time ago, I sold one of these to a lady, nearly new, and she christened it the Chinky Winky thing. But anyways, back onto the car. It's a 2002 Fiat Cinquecento Sporting. One lady owner plus dealer demo. So the lady owner had it from three months old. Well, it's just absolutely fantastic. I actually bought two. There's its twin sister. That one's a Fiat Cinquecento Sporting Michael Schumacher Limited Edition. So I bought these off a large motorhome dealer that I've been dealing with for a while. Uh, the plan was this one has got the uh, motorhome tow equipment attached to it. And the tow bar that clips onto the, is in the boot of that one. The plan was to fit that one onto this front bumper or change the front bumpers and make that my own tow car to have on my own personal motorhome. I was actually going to Europe last year, but that obviously for obvious reasons in 2020, that's not gonna happen. And it's looking unlikely to happen in 2021, certainly in the first half. Um, so I think it's time to part company. It's actually also too nice to take that bumper off and put the other one on. This is just a stunning example. She's clearly had it and looked after it from new. So she's had it for 19, 18, 19 years. Now this has actually got the full panoramic roof and it actually works. It's lovely. Um, so what should we start with the bodywork? So depending on your critical levels, it, the bumper and bonnet is slightly off shade. I've spoke to me, uh, the guy who does my paintwork on my motorhomes, he said it is a bad colour to match. It actually looks worse. I'm just looking at the screen now on the video camera and it looks worse on the video. It's actually better in real life. So it's just off shade. So the front bumper and the bonnet. I think there's a, well, depending on, slightly again, just the rear hatch, just slightly off color. But again, it, it looks worse on the camera there than what it really does look like. Well, that's fine, it can stay like that. Um, no marks or scratches or damage as such, just a, there's a tiny little bit of grazing. You can see it's at the trolley or something here, just a slight little bit of grazing under the driver's headlamp and a little crack or mark here on the uh, passenger front bumper corner lip. Well, that's about it. Nice hollow wheels, nice tyres all round. I think that's the worst on the hollow wheel that could just do with a, just depending on your fussiness levels. Please remember it's 18, 19 years old. Again, I'll be happy to drive this anywhere in the country. We are currently in a lockdown situation, but I'm legally allowed. Barney Boris will allow anyone in the work, for their work to travel up and down the country, which I have been doing all year. So I can do a safe contactless delivery. I'll drive it myself and I'll get the train back. Okay, let's have a look inside. Yep, yeah, same side inside. Just lovely. It's even got the original theatre pack. It's got the service book. It was serviced in the book, the first four stamps up to about 2007. I'll look into that. Um, it was serviced by the dealership in Devon, where it came from. So I'll see if we can get more records from the servicing. It clearly has been done, but just not been stamped in the book. It's like new inside. It drives fantastic. I drove it approximately 100 miles back from the motorhome dealer. Uh, yeah, on the motorway, starts on the button, drives, no vibrations. Clutch and gearbox operation is fine. people have commented it while well, I've had it in my possession and said you want to put a red passenger door on it and have it something like out of the Inbetweeners movie. I don't think it's quite the right shape, they had the, the older shape but 
it is one of those clearly old quirky cars okay Let's see if we can put the ignition on and demonstrate that reef can just angle the camera up lovely smooth operation watertight I think I noticed yeah that I think there should be a seal here a rubber seal and it's not with it just a t it's not causing any problem but just cosmetically there should be I reckon there should be a rubber seal under there So you can purchase this outright, I will deliver it, or you can purchase that one as well. That one is in nowhere near as good condition. So I've got a choice, two choices really. This is the Schumacher edition. Um, you'll be purchasing that for spurs or repair. That's got a crunchy gearbox. This one's done about 80,000 miles. This one in hand has done, I think, 56,000 miles. Uh, but this one has got a crunchy gearbox. It needs a battery, have to jump start it. Uh, so a few owners is in nowhere near that condition but if you're a collector and you're buying it if you want to ring up and i'll uh, include this also delivered and you can use this just for parts there's the uh i'm just getting there it's hard to get in there this one's locked up but it is got the there you go is the uh towing equipment i think i might just uh, put a new battery on this and just use this myself in my uh, camper business just for getting back from unusual places if i'm struggling to get the train back well that's the schumacher edition i think schumacher's been driving this because it's not a patch on that lovely beauty so my name's anthony valentine the camper nerd you can contact me on 0798 526 1078 and I'll be happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching folks.